for the Stallions. We'll take on the sick dudes. And it's 458 August 3rd, 1992. We're here with Stallion pitcher Chris Coro. So you've seen Chris on this tape before. It's the ongoing playoff soccer. And the Stallions have not won a playoff game in four years. Four years they've been there. And they feel confident this year they're going to win. We'll be back with Chris Coro in one moment. The manager, oh, excuse me, I mean pitcher of the Chris, of the Kings Park Stallions. Chris Coro. Uh, Chris, how you doing, first of all? Chris, now it's game day. It's you down here in the... 205. That is all over there. So, uh, it's playoff time, Chris, once a year. And how does this team feel, especially after that devastating last year loss? I uh, feel pretty good about it. You know, I'm a little bit more uh, nervous uh, than last time because, you know, we went in there real cocky last time. We lost. So, we're not going in there too cocky. And, uh, but we think we're confident, but not cocky. And uh, we're hoping we pull out a win here. Chris, do you think the new uniforms will help out the Stallions? Uh, I don't know. I think it's something new. I think uh, we all like these new uniforms. I think we feel like we're more better with these uniforms. They're more kind of manly looking. So uh, I think we're going to, you know, take every little thing that's new and use it to our advantage. Hopefully. How do you feel on like rookie Chris Wolf this year? He's the new guy. and uh, You think he's going to make a big impact today? I think. I think he's, he's a really good shortstop. He's going to make the plays when we need him. And uh, I think, you know, we have two good leadoff men, Heimlich and Hines. So I think when he gets up there, or he's going to be a big man up there. And I think he's going to really help us out a lot. All right, Chris, thank you. And back to the studios. Thank you. Here we are with the first baseman of the Kingsport Stallions, uh, Todd Rapley. Todd, how you doing? Pretty good, right? All right, Chris, got to ask some questions. Todd, today's playoff game. I'd rather not have the interview before the game. It's the game we have to do it. Todd, just a few, few questions from the public. Right, go ahead. Make Todd, a quick question. It's a big game. You guys choked in the playoffs last year. What's the difference between last year's Stallions and this year's Stallions? This year, more veterans. You know what to expect. Last year's loss uh, matured us a little bit. It made us uh, more seasoned. And, uh, team in the league that can compete with us if we play the way we're capable of playing. Todd, the controversies that have been surrounding you the last few years have kind of slowed down this year. Why would you say that's different? Well, there's a press the manager he told me just to play soccer. He said, all right, Ray, I've grown up a little. I take things in stride now. A lot of things have happened. I've uh, been, never been more happy in my life than right now this whole season. And I think it's uh, affected, you know, my soul for it. Todd, one more quick question. I know you want to get back there and warm up. Uh, what do you think it would take for the Stallions to win this game and further on win the last two games? Well, like I said, uh, what we got to do is play together as a team. Uh, we got to get good pitching up Chris and uh, good feeling up the middle. Mike Cooper and uh, Shortstop Wolf and we'll be good. We'll be fine because no one, no, one, no one has as much talent as we do on this team. Uh, we've played together for a long time. We know how you know we're capable of doing it. We take the game serious. We have to meet up with you after the game and a win. All right, back up to the studios. We uh, come across two more stallions. Chris, ask some questions. Kevin McCabe and Dan Lusby. Kevin, you know it's choking. You're back now with the stallions after a few years off. How do you feel about the playoffs? Well, this season has been very good. The record itself doesn't exactly show our quality of play, however. We've established ourselves throughout the league, and I feel that like today will be nothing but a sweep. Dan, you've been with the Stallions since the uh, yes, and uh, you've seen them go up and down. And uh, this is kind of a mediocre season, but you think we can pull it out in the play? I think if we get I some hitting goals... pulled it out a few times and went up and down. So. <laughs> <laughs> I think if we get some hitting and some uh, timely pitching by our pitcher, uh, we can pull out game, maybe two, and uh, hopefully we can go all the way. Thank you, Dan and Kevin, and uh, good luck. We hope to see you. All right, John, thanks. Back up to the studio. With Ray Coyne, manager and big offensive producer of the Stallions. How you doing, Ray? Hi, Chris. How are you? All right. Ray, what is this team going to need to win? Well, it's going to lead a lot of confidence. You know, we got the best team out there. Uh, and uh, as you can see, Rapley's even running, you know, Rapley's hustling. I think we got the best team out there. I think if we, uh, we, pry, we play hard, like the Stallions shoot, overcome this and we're gonna really kick ass today. I really feel confident with this team. Ray, Stallions, known for choking in the playoffs. You think it's gonna happen again this year? No, I think this is the first year that everybody's really up for this game. They're early, uh, you know, everybody's been talking about it for days, you know, we're having a party afterwards. We think we're gonna win this year. We're gonna give it 
exerted every effort. I mean, last year we were 14 and 0, and uh, we couldn't we couldn't pull it off. We were too cocky. But this year we're not cocky. We're taking every game seriously. Ray, how do you feel today? You feel you're gonna do what you can do? I feel confident, Chris, and I think we're gonna pull this game off. Take care. Thanks, Ray, and uh, we hope to see you after the game and uh, at the post party, and we're gonna win, right? All right. Thanks, Chris. Paul. Okay. Bye bye. Back to the studio. And Scott Hine from the Kings Park Stallions, the center fielder. <laughs> Chris, good. Uh, Scott, Scott. Gonna fucking change. Right <laughs> We've been on this team for the last three years, you know, ups and downs and everything. We choked in the playoffs last year. What do you think it's going to take to win the playoffs? A lot of mental, uh, mental capacity. Uh, Speaking of which, Show whisper. us how good we are as a team, work together, how we can coordinate our efforts and to a winning style. And basically, no one. <laughs> Scott, one more quick question. Um, everybody says, you know, you're a pivotal man in this lineup and in the field. Do you think you're going to be able to produce today? Well, I sure hope so. Because <laughs> if I don't, then we're in deep shit. <laughs> well, thank you, Scott, a man of many words. Like and, uh, we're going to let him go. We hope to see you after the post party. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Back up to the studio. Okay, Jim. goodbye. And here with uh, the second baseman of the Steins, Michael Cooper. Mike, how are you doing today? Ooh. Cooper Mike, down. Mike, you with the Steins. What time does, does the game start? 6 o'clock. 6? I think it was 5 uh, Mike. I'm going to go home for a while, okay? Uh, Mike, yeah. you've with the Steins the last few years. What up, Chris? And, uh, you know, we've uh, had our problems with choking in the playoffs. What do you think's going to happen with this year? I think we've had a good shot at uh, winning a couple games. Exactly why? Good to him. Oh, what? what? What do you think of the new prospect, Chris Wolf? Chris Wolf, he's uh, been he's playing well. Oh, you did? Thank you. He's been playing well. Uh, so, so What's that, guys? Camera coming through. Allowed me to uh, concentrate on my, on my hitting a little more. Take the pressure off me a short time. Allowed me to move the pressure. like this? I, know. I like it. Mike, you've had a, I stick a, a bad back. season in the playoffs last year. You think you'll be able to rebound this year? I think I am. Uh, <laughs> I think that's exactly what I'm going to do, a rebound. Well, thank you, Mike. We hope to see you at the party afterwards and after we have a big win today. Back on location. Hi, Rob. No comments. One question. Come on. No comments. No comments. Rob, we'll be able to talk to you after the game. After the game. We'll talk to Rob after the game. Or something. We'll start you. <laughs> what? <laughs> you Craig, what do you feel on the baseball team today? What? All right, thanks. I'm back up to the studios. Some batting practice. Back on Stallion location, live. We we promised to keep away from Kevin because he might break it in other ways. Hey, watch out. Let me uh, take some moments. When it rains, it pours. That's Chris's theme last year. Um, Chris, are you afraid of the camera or what? All right, back on location. Go